second chair. He just shoves them in the glove compartment. Figures it with those California plates, he's immune. Just be a minute, guy. Just a minute. Any messages for me, honey? Yeah, just one. Only one, eh? You don't really mean that now, do you, Mike? Oh, you're wrong, Daddy. He does, he does. He's nothing but a dirty old man. The original. <laughs> Guy Fleming Gallery. Oh, hi, Mike. What happened? Oh, no. <laughs> Where are you? Okay, listen, I'll be right there. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm on my way. Yeah. Good, bye. Denny. What does he want? Who? What do you mean, who? Mike. What kind of trouble is he in now? All those parking tickets finally caught up with him. They towed his car away. Oh, no. No, I'll never leave town. Guy, he came here because you asked him to. He came here because of my father's funeral. He said he'd help me wrap up his affairs. Denny, that was four months ago. I didn't know he was going to take over Dad's office here. Oh, Guy, you needed him then. Remember? Yeah, you're right. So let me go pick him up? Oh, all right. Go ahead. <laughs> Hey, Guy, you still have those next season tickets? Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, it'd be foolish for me to try and bribe a member of the Department of Motor Vehicles with money. How about a couple of tickets to the next game? It's going to be the biggest game of the year yet. Right, now, here's a number. It's a Rolls Royce 24K G O. L. D. Thank you. Yeah. Davis? Yeah. Got a first name? Ian? Ian? I. I A N. David, yeah. Got an address there? Colony Park Apartments. Right. Well, thank you very much. Oh, I won't forget the tickets. Hey, where's that? Delivering a painting on Upper Fifth. Here, guy, hold this. I'll help you. Oh, hey, Mike. Uh, give me a little no, look, 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 Mike, this is a really valuable picture. Know, Will I you just, just look, look, be real careful? Get me up to the uh, Colonial Park apartment, will you please? Well, thank you. What, what are I... Come on, let's get going. Come on, give me my cigar, will you please? Come on. Are you listening to me, Mike? I mean, the point is... You're driving me crazy. Look, Danny works for me. You gotta let her do a job. Stop dragging her and me into everything, all right? Relax, relax, listen. Listen to this tenor sax. You know who that is? It's Count Wellington. Listen to him blow. Mike, you haven't heard a word I've said, and I want to talk. Go ahead, go ahead. Now, I am running an art gallery, not a detective agency. I, I let my father keep his office there because... Well, because he was my father. Well, frankly, Mike, you're only there because I... Because I was a friend of your father's, right? You know, you're a lot like him, too. Always making a lot out of nothing. Keep going the way you're going, and you're going to have a heart attack like he did. Yeah, your father was... was a wonderful man. Great guy. Yeah, we grew up on the streets together, fought the war together. In fact, we quit the police force the same day to become private detectives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we made a heck of a team. 
always trying to help each other? Hey, Mike, look, I'm I'm trying to help you, too. I I enjoy helping you, but you, you make it very hard on me. What do you want me to do, cut out? Is that what oh, you no, want? No, 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 no. Come on, I didn't say that. As soon as I get some bread together, I'm going to head back to L.A. Well, if it's just a matter of money, I'd be happy to loan you. No, 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 don't, don't, don't say that. Mike O'Malley always pays his own way, remember, always. You are unbelievable. <laughs> hey, seems out you're going this way, you could, you could help me. Huh? <laughs> Say, buddy, I'm I'm from Los Angeles, and my car's stuck over in the park over there, and my wife said I'm sick as a dog. And I know it might be an inconvenience, but I wondered if I could call the auto club, please, and, and you know, you could help me out a little. I'm from L.A. All right, make it quick. Thank you. Thank you. This the auto club? Mike? Is that you? Yeah. You need my card number? Hold on just a minute. My card? While well, I got you on the phone, Bernie called. Your horse? Lost. Lost? Well, I uh, must have lost my card. <laughs> How could I do that? Morning. Uh, Steve, Steve Zarco. I bet you were going into the uh, Barker residence. The Barkers. That's right. Yes. I'm, I'm here to see the Barkers. Uh, Mike, what are you doing here? Auto club. My car broke down in the park. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, why don't you, why don't you get in and uh, you can call from the Barker great, apartment. Great, great. Good idea. A friend of mine from L.A. <laughs> Hold it. I'll be with you in a second, uh, Mr. Zarko. All right, who the hell are you guys? I told you it wouldn't work, and I can't believe I let you talk me into trying it. I gotta be an idiot. No harm, no foul. What are you yelling? Hey, wait, hey, wait. No way, no way. He's probably wait. calling the police right now. Just wait, just, just wait. Mike, where are you going? Mike, get back here. here. I'll, I'll be right out. Mike, Mike, I'm not going to bail you out again. <laughs> Yes, I'm Guy Fleming. You're expected at the Davis apartment. The doorman will let you in. Oh, thank you very much. I knew he'd get me into trouble. I knew it. It's lead. What's going on, Mr. O'Malley? I was hoping you could tell me, Mr. Davis. Seems as though your friend Paul has been seen in the company of a two-bit hood by the name of Hager. The talk on the street is that Hager's up to his nose in phony Krugerrands. But I've got over half a million dollars worth of these in the safe upstairs. You're telling me they're all counterfeit? It's a good bet. I've been investing in gold for the past two years. Buying it from a reputable coin dealer on Fifth Avenue. And Paul's been picking it up for me. He knows I just lock it up in the safe upstairs. I mean, he knows I don't trade it. I trusted him. He's worked for me for years. Never given me any reason to doubt his loyalty. Mr. Davis, looks like you're gonna need a pretty stiff drink. I'll get it for you. You have the way I add it up. Your Paul has been taking your buy money, coming back. Filling up your safe with phony Krugerrands. Where is he now? 
Gone? Yeah. Ironically, he's gone to the coin shop. Bullseye. Oh, please come in. Go in the sitting room. Thank you. Guy! Hey, come on in and have a drink. We're waiting for the culprit to return to the scene of the crime. <laughs> Completed up. Hello there. I trusted you. You and your friend Hager, you. <laughs> Keys in the car? Uh, no, no, I got them right here. Why? Hey, Mike! No, Mike! Not the car! a nice boy. Came by with a lot of thanks and promises. Oh, this is from Ian Davis. Sort of a reward. He said that gold scam could have gone on forever if it hadn't been for yours truly. Well, Mike, now that you got some money, maybe you can pay some of your bills. Huh? To start with, you owe your landlady 13 weeks back rent, not to mention the telephone company that's threatening to disconnect your phone. And what about that weird little guy? What's his name? Oh, he keeps coming by the gallery. Michael, put that down. You're not... Keeps coming by the gallery claiming that you own... 